This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. It's been many, many years since I've been on this uh, precarious road leading up to Amuka. I've been to many places in Eretz Yisrael, but it's been a while since I made it to uh, Amuka, the Kever of Yonasa Ben Uziel, which has become quite a destination. Of course, uh, many are aware that this is the go-to place for people to be misbalil for Shaduchim. So let's start with a few Gemaras. The first one is on the back wall. Masech the Sukkah, Chavchesam and Aleph. The Gemara says that Hillel Hazakein had 80 Talmidim. 30 of them the Shechina could have rested on like Moshe Rabbeinu. 30 of them could have stopped the sun like Yeshua Benun. 20 in between. The greatest of all of them was Rabbi Yonisam ben Uziel. Katan Shebekulan, Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai. What did Rabbi Yochanan ben Zakkai know? Go Mishnah, Mikra, Mishnah, Gemara, Halach, Zeres. By the way, the Beis Yosef says it doesn't mean Kapshuta, that he was the least of them, because ultimately he became the leader of Klal Yisrael. So what's the likelihood? Statistically, you have 80 Talmidim, the least of them became the leader. It means that perhaps others were greater in one of these various disciplines, but nobody was like Rabbi Yechem and Zaka, who excelled in all of them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Be it as it may, Rabbi Yonatan and Brazil was the greatest. Any bird that flew over his head, Nisraf Miyad. Now that's a Maila? Like if you're looking for a yeshiva, so uh, which yeshiva can I go to that birds burn up over the Rebbe? What does that mean? So the Kadmonim say, oif refers to an extraneous or improper thought in learning. Even, not an indecent thought, a non-accurate thought. Rabbi Yonasem ben Uziel was so attuned to the Ratzah in Haboyre that any time even the conception of an idea that was an MS came up, it was completely eradicated. It never even entered, it never exited the Kloyos to the, to the lave. It, it just was Nisraf Mayad. Rabbi Yonasem ben Uziel was the one who revealed Targum Anavim. And when he revealed Targum Anavim, Nizdazer, Eretz Yisrael, Arba Meos Amma by Arba Meos Amma. And in HaKadosh Baruch they cried out, Mi gila raze labanai, who revealed this secret? And Yonasem ben Uziel said, I didn't do it for my covet, not for the covet of my family, but to, to be mefarish the Torah. Says the Torah read, what's wrong with the Targum? Why did Eretz Yisrael quake when he revealed the Targum? He said, because by revealing the Targum, it minimized Amelos Batayra. So because of that lack of Amelos, so Eretz Yisrael was nizdazea, says the Torah read. But then Rabbi Yonasem ben Uziel wanted to reveal the Targum on Ksuvim. But HaKadosh Baruch Hu said, no, that, that's too much, because in Ksuvim you have the Tzukim and Daniel that tell us when Mashiach is coming. Mythbuster. Rabbi Yonasem ben Uziel did not write Targum Yonasem ben Uziel. Who says that? Everybody. Most notably the Chida. Targum Yonasem Uziel is Targum Yushalmi, but a different version of it. So the printer is in order to differentiate between standard Targum Yushalmi and this Targum Yushalmi, they called it Targum Yonasem Uziel, but it's against the Gemara. The Gemara says he taught Targum on Nevi'im, he wanted to teach Targum. So here's it. When it says Targum Yonasem Uziel, it's not. When it doesn't say Targum Yonasem Uziel on Nevi'im, then it is. And that's a lesson in life in general. But, uh, what does Rabbi Yonasem ben Uziel have to do with Shaduchim? So we know that the parsha of Shaduchim could be a very painful parsha, And people say to, to prospective boys and girls, you know, Merz Hashem by you, Merz Hashem by you. And they're, they're hurting inside. They're thinking, wait, Merz, do you know what I feel? Do you know the pain I'm going through? Do you know the loneliness that I feel? And they have no one to pour their heart out to. Who could understand them? Who could feel what they're going through? But we know Rabbi Yonasem ben Uziel was in that same parsha. Rabbi Yonasem ben Uziel, his chilek in life was such that he did not have children, he did not get married, and therefore tradition has it that Rabbi Yonasem ben Uziel is able to feel the tsar of those who are looking for their zivug. So for all of those who have someone specific in mind that they want to be mispalo for, if you're just davening for people in Klai, so in general, we hope in the zchus of the Tana Lekir Rabbi Yonasem ben Uziel, all of our tefillos should be neskabel, barachamim, uvaratzen, and of course we're hoping for the ultimate zivug of the kutchabrichu em shchinte, the shem yudke, bevavke, which is the ultimate zivug, and with that will come the return of Klal Yisrael, 
everyone to Eretz Yisrael, to Shalayim, B'viyaz Gal Tzadik. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.